exactly in the mood for Mozart and all that kind of going on. <laughs> Oh yeah! Welcome! Oh yes it is! VUCA world! That need to stop! Simplify thing! with real business agility. Information Society, Digital Transformation, Biogenesis, HI over AI. Welcome to 2024. <laughs> Onward. Renaissance. Make it simple. Real business agility with open leadership and open pattern. Coach F will be with you shortly. If you are listening to this transmission, you are part of the Renaissance. There is no resistance, only the dream of the future now. Onward 2024 will start very soon. Stay tuned. Yes, indeed. Coach F is entering the studio right now for this anti-New Year on retrospective of 2023. First iteration, because I just realized that the live streams was not exactly what I wanted it to be. We had a lot of distraction. Welcome, amazing and beautiful people. You know who you are. Are you ready to run with me? Run for the last time of 2023. I'm recording this the morning of Sunday, December the 31st. And uh, what will follow will be the exact uncut, or mostly uncut. I cut like the silence part. But you're going to have this um, live stream that I did to close the year on my uh, YouTube and Rumble channel. Also on LinkedIn, linked out. And uh, it's a bilingual show. The first hour will be in English. Uh, the second hour, it's kind of in French, but as I said, I was having a lot of distraction. So we'll see. We'll see exactly uh, how it goes. But um, I promise you an amazing, um, an amazing about two hours, including this introduction with uh, Information Society music from back uh, 30 years ago, actually. It's great kind of techno trance music, as I love, and um, I, I think the lyric of the song is is very to the point of it's uh, we are incorporating everything we are making the agile industrial complex so complex uh, so just for the money, and I don't have anything, and you'll go, and you're gonna see it. I, I'm gonna talk about it in this upcoming live stream that I did last Friday. Um, Daniel Mezik was supposed to join, actually it was not supposed, I invited like a lot of people, uh, Harold, Chintao, uh, 
Ryan Erickson and some others <clears throat> to, to join us. Uh, Michael Orman also, but it was just an invitation. It's an open space. It was an open thing. So, uh, I didn't expect anyone to show up, but, but, uh, I get a teaser because in the studio queue lineup, Daniel Music appear and disappear, appear and disappear. So, it, it finally had some technical glitch. It just uh, texted me this morning, uh, of, uh, December 21st to tell me that, uh, he had a AV problem. So, uh, unfortunately, uh, he was not with me to, uh, discuss and close that 2023. So that's why I say like this onward 2024 for me right now, it happened what it have to happen. I liked it. My French part, I really rent like crazy uh, against uh, some segment of people that are around Agile Montreal. And uh, you know what? I leave it like this because that's authentic, that's transparent, and that's true. And <clears throat> after the great split that I promise you that will happen uh, after those uh, three years of darkness, um, I decide, and, I, and I'm sure that my new folks are over... Uh, at the Open Leadership Network and everything that we're going to do this year um, together, I hope, uh, bringing the uh, OLN, this Open Leadership Network, to a next level with a great uh, think tank uh, podcast on uh, open patterns, open business agility, um, the invitation base, the uh, Ribble, and I would like to make some other association with Freedom at Work and everything, and uh, that may be but not even maybe it's 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 it kind of a, the outcome the objective key result that we'd like to achieve together on the long run is to associate ourselves with the uh, alliance um, for responsible citizenship uh, so here's the thing so that's why I'm not shy to uh, come out because the split happened and now let's move on word with renaissance and by the way if you are listening to this transmission you are part of the renaissance who knows Uh, so you just have to send me a comment like and again I would like to thank you very much every one of you this year that uh, helped me grow that podcast on multiple platform if you're listening to it from Spotify I know you're about uh, 200 uh, subscribers on Spotify thank you so much because now I've got access even for free to some stats there's about 200 people also on Apple podcast so thank you if you are downloading and streaming from there and the other platform I don't have access to much stats but I know All around the board, there's uh, almost 6,000 uh, listeners. They say listeners. And uh, it's about 3,000 subscribers. So I'm, uh, I'm assuming that subscriber, it's those who are really following the Dairy Real Agile podcast. And the listener are just people who listen uh, like monthly or something like this. But uh, thank you so much. Thank you for those who uh, use my website at DareRealAgile.com. Uh, where you have a comment section. It's a private message that I receive, and I'm really thankful of your uh, positive criticism, constructive criticism, and well, some people spam me, but that's life, you know. And uh, some of you also send me a lot of Satoshi. Thank you so that. And the coffee club, the mug club is there. And yes, the merch site for, so, for those who ask, especially for the Scrum Beer mug, that will, you know, I'm doing it for free, voluntarily. So... But that could be a nice um, extra revenue stream if you see it like this. But anyways, without further ado, I'm going to let you go with uh, <laughs> the myself of last Friday, uh, December the 29th, live on Linked Out, YouTube and Rumble and Twitter. Also, I was on X. <coughs> you could follow me on X uh, for more uh, crispy uh, let's say crispy content like this of the Agile Wars and their Real Agile podcast. So without further ado, I wish you a great last uh, 20-some hours of 2023 and let's move onward together uh, into this uh, new cycle of 2024. And, um, and this show is a lot of music too. So it's going to start with, uh, with an opening of about 10 minutes of music and all the music is mixed It's mixed or and created by my dear friend from Mexico City, um, the Lounge King himself. And as you're going to see, yes, I am part, uh, boldly actually, from and, and, and gratefully of the International Lounge Network, the uh, kind of a secret, not so secret, organization of entrepreneur and um, health care and mental health for men. So um, that's going to be also one of my thing for 2024. 
um, to create a kind of a freedom cells for men's health. Uh, so, what else for you? I wish you again a happy Sunday, the December 31st, and my wish for 2024 will be when we are in 2024. So, after this, and watch for probably an award 2024, a little bit more structured and more serious uh, than me drinking <laughs> martini and renting in French. So expect a bilingual again for this one. And I'll come back with the uh, unique English and unique French uh, podcast with uh, the, the top 5, 10, and 10, our intention for 2024 that the Agile Lounge for Business Agility and myself would like to uh, move onward. Thank you so much for listening and enjoy the show. Welcome, welcome everybody. Please be at ease. You are watching live on Twitter or X, Instagram, YouTube, Rumble, and um, 
Of course, LinkedIn. Yeah, I think. Are we on LinkedIn, Martin? Yeah? All right. So they shy, they don't want to come. The lounge, the Fredo lounge is full for the Agile lounge. Retrospective, retrospective, my ass. We'll be right with you. We got a couple of drinks, a couple of setups. The Bitcoin brothers might come and join. And we could have a lot of surprise. Yeah, I should actually open it here. We could have a surprise tonight from the Open Leadership Network, from uh, Scrum Org, uh, from, uh, I don't know, but we'll be right with you. Have a drink, have a cigar. It's 72 hours before 2024. This is an anti-New Year, Friday live, Friday night live, Agile. We'll be right with you. Tell me in the chat, where are you watching this special live stream? Please tell me in the chat right now. And as you can see, we are enjoying the music of my very, very good friend in Mexico City. Let's see what Adam Mexico, CDMX. It's the music of the Lounge King, my dear friend. And we are all part of this secret society of the International Lounge Network. We'll be right with you. The show kick start very soon. One hour in English, one hour in French, maybe. Who knows? It's you. You decide, the watcher. You tell me in the chat below where you're from and on which platform are you listening to this and French, English or Spanish. Thank you. So you understand, as a great scrum master and facilitator, I've got a couple of guests. So, and you all guess, I see now about in the console here, there's 25 people watching already. So welcome, welcome to the Agile Lounge, the virtual Agile Lounge, with your host, Coach AF, known as Alexandre Frédéric Jolie, actually. You're listening to the radio of the Lounge King, my great friend from Mexico City, and a great artist that I praise, and we are part of the International Lounge Network. A secret society of entrepreneur. Oh yes, believe it or not. And um, right now, I'm just letting you in. Have a drink, have a cigar, have a coffee, have whatever makes you happy. And we're going to start very soon, probably at 20, 2013 Eastern Time, 8 p.m., 13 minutes. We'll be right there. Thank you, guys. And please, I'm still waiting for your chat right now. And of course, on LinkedIn, yeah, I'm going to have to go see it because LinkedIn... Microsoft don't want to share the data with uh, Streamlabs, so I won't be able to see your chat. But if you're on any other platform, I should be able to read your chat right now. Thank you, guys, and see you soon.
We have someone in the back room. All right, it's 2013 almost. So let's, just, let's kick it. Let's kick this last 72 hours. Uh, let me see. All right. Welcome, everybody. I'm uh, Alexandre Frédéric Joly, your coach AF, for the special uh, anti New Year, anti fragile. On retrospective, tell me if the music is too. Uh, I'm gonna pop on the volume of Mr. Music, who is in the backstage, and the queue. It's sharp on the rendezvous, so let me see if I could lower the music here. But we're gonna keep it going. The Radio King, uh, where you're the, the Lunch King Radio, and let's bring up, let's bring up Mr. Music, Mrs. Music. Are you here? Because I see you, but I don't see you at the same time. And the people who are watching, we have to tell me and the chat if the music in the background is too loud to be real. So, Mr. Music, Mr. Music, one time, Mr. Music, two time, remove the black screen and I put you up here. Is there a private chat here? I think so. Let me see it here. No. For me, it's still too loud. Like this, maybe. Yeah, it's better. Mr. Mizik, are you showing yourself? Or is it just an audio? You have the choice. I don't mind. All right, so without further ado, it's 13 minutes past the 8 o'clock Eastern time. I'm very, very, very happy. I've got a lot of things to say. Not everything you are going to like. It's an anti-fragile new year, anti-new year, on retrospective, and we're going to talk more about what are the intent for 2024 with a lot of things. So cheers to you guys for this last 72 hours because we are Friday Live Agile right now on the 29th of January. <laughs> January. You see, I'm already in the future. I'm already in the present future. Let's be present all together. And I'm going to read you something from my great father who will have 123 years today. So, Mr. Mizik, do you have your glass with you or something? I see you, but I don't see you at the same time. So, let's, let's bring him. So, you see, this is a black screen. A black screen from Connecticut, United States. You're all set, Mr. Mizik. Take your glass and join me. Or I will ID you on the screen for now. My phone is closed. Maybe that's the thing. Okay, so so maybe later. All right, so. As usual, I'm unscripted. I don't have... Uh, I don't have... Um, I don't have any list, any, uh, nothing. It's authentic, empiric, exploratory, live and real. And um, I'm going to be just truthful, as always. And that's, so that's why I said, not everything is going to please you, because I'm not here to please you. I'm here to express perspective that nobody want to talk about. And by the way, this is also... Uh, maybe we're going to cut the first 12 minutes for the audio podcast to run and do their jogging with me. But that's going to be also this month of December podcast, the, the Dare Real Agile, celebrating his three years, 5,000 subscribers later. Uh, and uh, now he's back. He's back. Should we welcome Mr. Mizik right now? Is he ready? Hold on a second. I'll be right back with you. going to check something on him. All right, so, and this is like a kind of, a, it's an open house. I remember back in the day, between Christmas and New Year's Eve, especially for the orphan, and now I'm an orphan too, um, I used to do the, uh, the cocktail, uh, the uh, Christmas cocktail uh, for the orphans, or the uh, cocktail of holidays and everything, and everything. So that was, that was actually, 
always a day between the Christmas Eve and Christmas Day and the New Year's Eve and everything, so to, to get people, and it was always nice. And this was at the Fredo Lounge, because there's many lounge. Lounge culture, as you could see, it's part of my life, so this is why I baptize my, how could I call it, a consulting firm of whatever, of the Agile Industrial Complex, uh, <laughs> to, go, to give training, to give coaching, and Scrum, uh, Kanban, and what have you, uh, of this beautiful world of business, agility, and agile software development, blah, blah, blah. So I call it Agile Lounge because the, the project back in the day in 2016 was for me to welcome people in a nice cafe, a nice loungy cafe, because I was supposed to do business with a barista uh, and a photographer. The photographer will have her studio uh, doing a picture, portrait, and everything uh, from that space. So it was a multifunctional space that we wanted to have here in the southwest of Montreal. So the project was there. But I realized with the uh, the investor <laughs> that I was the only one sol uh, solve uh, so uh, yeah the, the only one with enough equity to 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 probably um, to probably like bring it into into fruitful things. So what I did when one of my colleagues in New York City in Manhattan, so we opened into a co-working back then at the Bryan Park. Uh, just next to the library, um, and I, a nice and I spot to welcome people, and they had coffee there. And a um, couple of months later, here in Montreal, the Crew Collective and Cafe, the Agile Lounge was born. So, this is not like to give uh, this goofy retrospective that I'm all against, like when you see right now on LinkedIn and everywhere in the mass media, everybody talked about the top this, uh, top that of 2023 of course so i won't do that but i want just to put some context because i have so much new subscriber especially on the audio podcast that this will be um this weekend it's going to be out this weekend usually it's the last friday we are the last friday not only the last friday of the month which is our cycle but also um the last uh <laughs> friday of this year 2023 of the uh, roman catholic empire yes i insist this number it's only a number after the uh, uh, roman catholic empire and this i gave it to my historical uh, teacher uh at cegep du montreal back in the day so the only thing that i had put in perspective for this anti-fragile anti-new year kind of Moving onward 2024, I would like to, I know I didn't write anything, I don't have any script, but I exactly know from the art and from my mind what are my intent for 2024 within and without of this agile, whatever you want to call yourself, a community, a movement or whatever. Okay, so thank you for the art, uh, Morgan Le Fay, very appreciate it. Thank you for the like. Do like them. Like this video, especially on YouTube and Rumble. It will help me beat this algorithm dictatorship. And um, our message, I said our because I'm not necessarily alone. You think I'm alone, but there's people here that are too shy to bring a camera. I've got other entrepreneurs. i got a lot of people behind the front guy that I am. Yes, because we talked about secret society. I'm always laughing about it. Yes, I'm part of the International Lounge Network. Thank you, uh, Mr. M. Let's call him Mr. M to preserve his anonymous. Like the music you hear in the background. And all the music tonight will be from the El Municon, the Lounge King himself, a great friend of mine, who do actually the intro of the regular Friday Life Agile. And now of the... Um, what should I call it? Of course, yes, the Dare Real Agile podcast. And why Dare Real? Because I think it's daring to talk about subject and to address things into our static community of agilistas. It's been since 2016. I'm really sad. Like, I don't know what's happening with Mr. Mizik. He was there in the back room. So we'll, we'll, we'll live in time. And that's the thing. We might be jumped. It's like an open door. It's like if my house is open, my lounge is open, and it's the same virtually, so they have the link. They could contact me, and they could chat with me a little bit, and we go on and this and that. So that's why I don't have any script. This is why we don't have any agenda. The only agenda, the only thing is I would like at some point in the next two hours or so, uh, express enough of my intention and my intent, uh, see it as a big vision board, 
uh, without visualizations for now because we do it in a cocktail loungy uh, state of mind and I remind also again now everyone who are watching right now on LinkedIn we cannot see your chat sometimes we see your chat sometimes we don't so it's will it will be very uh, crucial that if you want to interact with us jump in I put the link in the comment of LinkedIn jump in here on YouTube it's going to be better I don't even see the chat right now oh here it is oh my god I miss so much thing so and this is the thing uh, on LinkedIn I see private member so I don't, maybe that's my team Manish Kumar, welcome, uh, Montreal from Montreal, and of course, as will be majoritarily in English, we put in the advert that we might do an hour in French for the French community of Agile and Scrum, but we'll see, we'll see, uh, we let it open, we let it flow, this is the real Agile, this is what means real and the Dare Real Agile podcast, so we dare, we dare subject, we dare address, we dare talk about things, and Real in the sense of Dr. McCoy, Dr. McCoy that bring this, the stamps and the, and the metallurgy of the real McCoy, which is, is the OG thing, it's the original thing that of course have to evolve. And I do believe that the agile that we had in 2001 after the manifesto is not the same agile. But the question we could ask is the agile software development ad evolve or devolve? with the end position. And that's the thing. In the turn of 2015, 2016, a lot of people, especially from the sanitary of this Agile Software Manifesto, remember, it's Agile Software Manifesto. It's nothing to do with the Agile mindset, which is not. The Agile culture, which is not. Agile leadership, maybe. And Agile leadership, with conscious leadership, should bring you into a higher scale, higher level of business agility. Of a true, true, true innovator business that serve his client, listen to his client, and do everything to improve the life of the majority of its client and its employee. So that's, that's the real Agile. That's what I'm talking about, about real business agility beyond software development, beyond the product development, and everything. So it's been a couple of years that I'm doing this and this and that. And for 2024, I would like to associate myself with those like Daniel Mizik in 2016, who talked about, who named the Agile Industrial Complex that was imposing a methodology from this Agile method and software development to the entire of an enterprise, selling it with fear, and starting making money with consulting. That is nothing wrong. I'm a capitalist, so don't get me wrong. I don't have anything against making money and making profit, but not in a way that it will be delivery. It will be a deliver very badly, very uh, kind of in a stupid way than everything. So, So that's, that's what we mean by real agile. It's not that we, we, we know we do better. Actually, yes, we do. I think my team and I at the Agile Lounge, we, we do a lot more efficiently because we're not just talking. We are walking the talk. All of our training and workshop, it's all practical with real things. And you go out with artifact ready after those training. Uh, you, you, you have a sense, you have patterns, you operationalize your patterns. You're not just uh, <laughs> hearing the four values, the 12 principles, and blah, 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 blah. No, 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 no. We do it with you. We kind of embark you into this, especially with Scrum Scrum, with the empirism. If it's done well, it's amazing what you could achieve for the business for your client, for your employee, for everyone. So I still don't understand 23, 23, 24 years later, why, why, why so much people are complaining about Scrum. And most of the time, those who are complaining about Scrum, they don't know shit about Scrum because they don't know the empirical process. They don't know empirism, even the three pillars of empirism. And they don't even know 
what lie behind the interdynamic of the people that should work with you, and what is the really meaning and sense of self-organized team and self-organization. So, this is exactly one of the intent of my proposition for renaissance. For renaissance of this... Not just Agile, because I couldn't care less about what uh, Jim I. Smith uh, put on LinkedIn lately. Um, uh, pushed by I.D. Morser, or Mousser, if I pronounce well, from the Agile Alliance. Because they are the problem. They never called out this end position. They never called out the one size fit all. They never called out the fact that we are not helping and supporting enough the C-level people. Uh, and the organization for them to understand the value, the proposed value of business agility at a whole. Okay. We are not, we are only sailing with safe and discipline agile and the Kanban university. We are only selling the agile software development even to this day in 2023. And this need to stop. This need to stop because progress, the progress of the human society, of our civilization at all, don't need to be imposed a method just for a part of the organization. Your organization as a whole have to be more progressive. And be careful here. When I'm talking about progressivism here, I'm not talking about the political uh, type of thing between right and left. I couldn't care less about this sheep thing, okay? I'm talking about the real progress, the real innovation, the real uncover new way that's opening this manifesto of software development. But once again... After 23 years, could we move on? Could we go onward with business agility, real agile leadership, and conscious leadership? Freedom at work. Not a new world of work. What the fuck does it mean, Scrum Alliance? We, we need something better. So cheers to you guys to this last 72 hours of 2023. And welcome 2024 very soon. You are listening if you are listening to this transmission, you may be part of the Renaissance. So let me now just want to do a little check, a little checked in. All right. So once again, if you are watching it on LinkedIn, I have to stop like this to go see what's going on exactly, because otherwise. That's, that's another problem we have in our uh, pseudo-modern society, uh, digital society. Huh? A, a lot of people brag about high-end technology and efficiency. Let me tell you right now, as a user using Streamlab, which is a great platform at its basic, very simple to use. It's a web-based, cloud-based platform. The problem I see is LinkedIn is owned by Microsoft. It's on .NET, Okay. Um, you have um, YouTube, remember in the comment below, because I don't remember, but I, I think it was like uh, Ajax slash uh, some sort of Java or they own code and whatever. But anyways, it's more like open. It's more open source. Uh, I've been told by some engineer. And then about Facebook, I don't even care because I don't, I'm not there. And X, X, it's probably also Java, something else. But the thing, the thing is, the thing is. They, LinkedIn want us to do live stream and, and they, they, uh, <laughs> they anoint me to be an influencer of LinkedIn. Yeah, whatever. This mean. So when we create a live stream and the talk studio itself from Streamlab, it's a software that help you stream on multi-platform the same program. Okay. Now, of course, if you are marketing adver advertiser and stuff, you will say the pros and cons of that. I'm not here to debate it. The only thing I want to say is we are bragging that we are achieving digital transformation, that we are at the forefront of so many technological events and that AI will save the day and even save the night. Could you kiss my big foot ass? Because right now, the streamer, the very streamer here, they don't communicate well together because of some code propriety, because of some copywriting shit, because of some infrastructure issue, and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. So, and 
you see the way it's done on, on, on LinkedIn, and I'm just going to go lower my sound here. It's LinkedIn, it's, it's like an event. And the streaming just become the support of the event, like a virtual webinar or whatever. And the chat doesn't exist. It's a comment. It's a, it's a comment that should come here in the studio. And I should be able to, like this, that was probably from my team earlier, because it says private, LinkedIn private user. I don't even have your name and whatever. So the thing is, the thing is, it's 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 a very loosey for simple thing. Any 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 programmer will tell you that it's very simple to do this. And uh, so, do we have? No, there's not no more chat here. Anyways, so the point that I'm making about this is, there's people who talk a lot. There's people who post a lot on social media. Especially LinkedIn, if we if we want to stay kind of in the professional realm of our of our stuff, and we don't even see any output, nor and especially not outcomes. So they don't deliver shit. They don't. They don't. They don't really dare. We don't see anything. I don't see like any. So there's a lot of prize, but what is? And the only thing I I hear as a consultant myself is the complaint. A lot of people complain, a lot of people are unhappy with the tool, uh, with the solution, with the services, with the way it's done. So, and this is specifically for the Montreal market and its work. Uh, I've seen kind of the same thing in Toronto, but it's, uh, okay, proportionally, I will say that Montreal is the worst of all of those non-entrepreneurs, because here's the thing, every time I work with a CEO, who is the business owner, or she is an entrepreneur from her past life, or whatever, I see a more kind of sense of understanding the business. And understanding the business, it's understanding that you need customer. You need to create customer, and you need to please them, and you need to make sure that they won't go away to the competitor. Okay? So, when I go into a board where there's a lot of manager, not leader, not business owner, not even entrepreneur fiber, and they just talk shit and they think they are serious with the MBA that they got online or what have you. You know, like this, this type of woman and men, it seems that in Montreal, there's a concentration of that. The same way that my city is kind of small, it's like Boston. So you could compare Boston to Montreal. Could you tell me why if I walk on St. Catherine or even René Lévesque here in downtown, I could be bombed. And I'm, 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 not, I'm not small, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big guy. And I've been bombed by people who don't even look at me, don't even look at each other. So they don't know how to walk. So there's a concentration of people who are not behaving well in the streets of Montreal. Because in, in Boston, we look at each other, even if we are on this sometimes, and people are, have a more sense of civism. And you'll see that's part of my intent for 2024, onward 2024 with this. It's more than respect. It's responsibility. Yes, to one another. Huh? For those who are used to my show, my Friday Live show and my Dare Real Agile podcast, you know that I always close my show with something like this. Okay? That to, you have to remember who you really are. Huh? So you are a wonderful person. You are powerful because you could make your own decision. And But the combination of both of them will finish with my final phrase of this, uh, let's call it a wrinkle. It's called, it's called what? Respect to one another. Because if you could be whoever you wanted to be, you could do whatever you wanted to do. But you have to negotiate, you have to interact, you have to collaborate, you have to give some space to others, you have to take your own space, you have to take responsibility, responsible citizenship, okay? So that's one of my aim. I would like to be, and I, I would love, I would love, like, let's put some love into it. Uh, Peace and Love Incorporated from Information Society. A great group of the 1990s. I was supposed to open the show with that, but I said like, ah, let's just play a music that I know I won't have any strikes, and it's going to be nice with the Lounge King for now. And so, so that's one of the intent. So here, here you have one. Okay, 
the intent of bringing responsibility at the forefront of the way that we should be responsible for ourselves, for others, and to one another. Okay, so that goes like this for me. So I don't know if you have a drink, but I'm thirsty tonight. don't know what's going on. And it's pretty hot here in Montreal. It's like the spring. Uh, we, last week, instead of saying Merry Christmas, we were saying like, Joyeux Spark, Happy Easter. So happy whatever you want. Mmm. This gin is delicious. Yes. All right, so, so no, I don't know what's going on. I had, I had one guess, one impromptu guess, but he disappeared. So that's not a problem. I would prefer to have a conversation like usually that happen. So, yeah. So I was saying that I, I'm always surprised with this. And a lot of people say, like, you seem to repeat yourself. So thank you very much to <laughs> being following me for, for a long time. But the, the, the issue here is... I have a lot of new people week after week after week, and um, and maybe I'm consistent with with my my value that I'd like to put into practice with patterns. So here, here's the thing. So, but um, to say that I'm repeating myself sometimes for the core value of the Agile Lounge and myself as an individual. Uh, of course, I could repeat my message because it, it, it's my message. It's my proposition. It's my identity that goes out, okay, from inside to outside. Uh, because it's always like this. In physics, it's like this. Subsension could be explained like this, by the way. It's information going in and information going out. And the subsension is the interaction that happen and between the two, okay? So if you, if you, if you ever dance tango, I tried it once, a couple of times. Actually, I said once, once was a, a course. And I realized that tango, it's physics. It's science. It's empirical process. It's, it's a power game. It's a game of subsension. It's a game of what subsume what when you do a move. And information going in, information going out. So, you know, if, if people start having a reflection on what's going on in the space, the space-time continuum, I will go that far. They could better understand Scrum. They could better understand what they do as a business consultant. And they could better understand what they do also as a quarter as a quality assurance, whatever you do, okay? Because it's all interconnected. It's all unified science type of thing. Like even in physics right now, there's a movement that it's, they don't want to have um, a kind of a silo of quantum physics mechanic and they don't want to have the cosmologists uh, doing things uh, up here. It's called un unified... <laughs> uni Unified science, unified science, okay? That's the subsension as at best. That's the subsension as at best. Because yes, I often refer to subsension because my dear master, Mike Beadle, used to say, if you don't understand the subsension, dynamic or architecture, you don't understand Scrum. And he's pretty right. A lot of people will just go as far as empirism. But empirism with the transparency, with the inspection and adaptation, it's not enough. You have to understand what's buying all of this together in Scrum. And this is the subsension, which is input-output for outcomes, for better outcomes. So that's why when I see the folks at product management and product development, they came up with this objective key result that's put some business technology and creation, the tree, all together. This is awesome. This is subsension because which one will subsume why? So let's say, for instance, you want to develop an application that will help you control all of your apparatus at home. So you have to, so the objective should be the outcome. The outcome will be like it's going to be easy to control and to centralize into one app all of my apparatus. And then you have key results, which is more than activities, by the way, because these are other output that will serve the outcome. So now, when you understand substantion, you do your analysis and your empirical testing and trying very faster because you know which one subsume which one, okay? And by uh, substantion, again, that's, for instance, does the objective of having one app 
for multiple key result action into your di different apparatus, which one should sum the other? So usually it's simple. It's the one that is a result of, or the one that is inside. So information going in, the system subsume or is subsumed by the greater objective and the greater outcome that you try to achieve, okay? So that's why OKRs already have this kind of, of mention. So when you have Scrum with OKRs in your design and, and delivery process, I think it's awesome. I had the chance to do it like three, four times in the last two years, and there was great achievement, faster than the regular Scrum team, and the product owner were really responsible and um, they they really own not just the product but also part of the process. Now you're gonna say like, oh well, Dov, is it the Scrum Master uh, that should own the process? No, the process should be actually owned by everyone. But if a product owner don't understand or is not responsible for make the process alive, you're gonna kind of lose in your uh, in your value stream somewhere. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, basically, about this. All right, so it's almost an hour now. If I don't have any requests in the chat, if my guests still coming in the queue, but when I want to put them, if I do this, no. Anyways, I don't know what happened to... Let me try to call him again, because... As again, as I said, it is unscripted and I just go with the flow. But I had a flow earlier and it seems that... Let's try it again. Okay. That's that. Life happened. Existence happened. What do you say? So let's do a musical break with the Lounge King. And uh, we'll be right back with you after this musical terapia from the Lounge King Radio.
If you are listening to this transmission, you are part of the Renaissance. All right, my loungers. How everybody is doing? Ah oui, j'avais dit en français, mais là, je sais pas. Il y a une dizaine de personnes qui regardent. Chattez-moi un peu. Là. Dites-moi ce qui se passe. Euh, voulez-vous ça en français, en espagnol, en italiano? Que passa? Que passa, cugno? 
Hein, allez, il faut, il faut me le dire, là. Moi, je suis pas là juste là pour moi. Alors, il y a quelques personnes qui regardent. Vous voulez quoi? Est-ce que la musique du Lounge King vous plaît? Est-ce que c'est trop fort? Blabli, blabla. So, je suis Alexandre Frédéric Joly, votre coach chef. Deuxième heure de ce spécial fin d'année pour accueillir la nouvelle année onward, en avant 2024, pour parler de mes intentions. Alors, c'est un, un show bilingue ce soir. Est-ce qu'il va être coupé après le live? Je ne sais pas. Est-ce qu'on va le faire en deux parties pour le audio podcast du Dairy Agile de cette fin de mois qui va être disponible ce week-end? Juste à temps pour écouter ça en vous préparant, en vous aguichant pour les parties du nouvel an. Que sais-je, c'est n'importe quoi. On dit et on fait n'importe quoi. Un peu comme ce que vous pouvez voir sur LinkedIn. Les gens qui, au cours de toute l'année 2023 ont posté n'importe quoi sur l'intelligence artificielle, n'importe quoi sur l'agilité d'affaires ou organisationnelle. Ils sont même pas capables en français d'appeler ça l'agilité d'affaires ou le, 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 le vrai leadership agile. Alors, oui, en français, je suis un petit peu plus cru parce que vous me tapez sur les nerfs, vous m'emmerdez, vous me faites chier littéralement, les francophones, surtout en agilité. Euh, vous vous pensez tellement plus et mieux que les autres et euh, dans le fond, vous êtes rien. Vous êtes pris avec un complexe d'infériorité, je pense. Euh, juste savoir comment vous êtes jaloux et décadent envers des gens comme moi. Pas juste moi. Les gens qu'on a réussi aux États-Unis, les gens qu'on a réussi à l'international dans ce beau et vrai réseau d'agilité d'affaires. OK? Je vais vous le dire en pleine face. Si personne vous le dit, moi, je vais vous le dire. Parce qu'aujourd'hui, ce, cette émission spéciale, c'est un anti-fragile. Alors, si vous êtes fragile, si vous n'aimez pas ce que je vous dis et sur le ton que je vous le dis, bien, crissez-moi patience en bon canadien français, fichez-moi le camp et continuez à ne pas m'embaucher. Ah oui, ça, il faut que j'en parle. Ça, c'est dans la, la honne rétrospective, là, hein, il faut que la communauté Agile Montréal... Tu sais, la communauté de Gilles, parce que c'est juste Gilles. On dirait que Gilles, il gère le show à lui tout seul. Gilles, là, Gilles, il fait son show à lui tout seul. C'est un one-size-fit-all, c'est un one-mindset, c'est un consensuel total. C'est de la... J'ai jamais vu ça, j'ai jamais vu... Je sais qu'il y a des choses horribles qui se passent aux États-Unis également, en Angleterre, en France, ailleurs où j'ai travaillé au Mexique. Mais, mais vraiment, Montréal, il y a une concentration d'idiotie, il y a une concentration de cons, de con artistes, de faux coachs agiles. Il y a même un mec du PMI qui m'a dit que j'étais gentil de dire qu'il y avait 85% de faux coachs agiles à Montréal. Lui, il a monté ça à 95%. Alors, c'est quand même pas rien qu'un chargé de projet classique nous dise ça. Et voilà, les, des 25, on vient de tomber à 8. Bravo, si le chapeau vous fait... Crissez-moi votre camp. Je n'ai rien à foutre de vous dans mon réseau si vous n'êtes pas capable de prendre la vérité. They're real agile. Ça doit être des mangeurs de balus francophones ou peut-être des anglophones que là, je viens de les perdre parce qu'ils ne comprennent absolument rien. Ça, c'est un autre problème également. Dans la renaissance que je souhaite avec amour et ouverture, euh, il me semble que de connaître au moins deux langues, hein. peut-être pas trois et demi comme moi ou cinq comme ma mère ou d'autres, mais T'sais, ouvrez-vous l'esprit, euh, apprenez, euh, soyez cosmos. Euh, je sais pas, parce que euh, on n'ira pas, on n'ira pas bien, bien loin. Comme l'expression canadienne française le dit si bien, on n'ira pas chier loin avec du monde qui reste enfermé dans leur silo, euh, dans leur petit confort, dans leur pseudo inclusion. Ça, ça me fait rire aussi l'inclusion. Y a-t-il vraiment de l'inclusion où les gens font juste rester ensemble En tous les cas, j'ai fait un petit ranting parce que je pense sincèrement. Je pense sincèrement. Et puis là, by the way, ceux qui passent, là, j'ai dit que ce serait l'heure française, mais if you'd like to be back in English, it's for you to tell me in the chat. And we have a chat right now. Let's see it. Qu est qui est-ce que c'est? Faisal. Uh, hi, Faisal. Uh, do you speak French also or just English? Because the first hour since 8 o'clock was in English. Now I was supposed to be more in French for the francophone out there of business agility and so on. But I don't know because... <laughs> As soon as I start my hour in French, I saw the counter from 10 to 0. So, please, Faisal, tell me if you speak French and English. For me, I don't care. I speak three languages. Tu hablas espagnol et tout, no sé. So, Faisal, dis-nous ça. Et puis les autres, ben, si vous voulez revenir, dites-les. C'est à vous de communiquer dans le chat, comme Faisal le fait. He has courage. He says hi, and I say hi. 
So, but the rest is up to you to tell me because the program was that eight to nine in English, and now from nine ish, it, it should have been in French for the people in France and whoever uh, speak French, even in Merida, Yucatan, Mexico. All right, so cheers to you guys. The end of this, uh, by the way, as I said, comme j'ai dit plutôt en anglais, as I said in earlier, 2023. <laughs> <laughs> it's not after Jesus Christ. No, no, no. It's after the Roman Catholic Empire. It's something to control us again, to control our mindset and everything. So anyways, cheers. Cheers to you. Cheers to whoever you are, a human being, full with love, a moral compass, to go onward, whatever you do in life. But if you are part of this tribe of business, agility, and scrum... Okay, no problem, Faisal. So we'll see. That's maybe why the 10 people were there for the first hour. But, you know, for me, I'm a cosmopolitan. So I speak French, English, Spanish, and poco italiano. And that's why I kind of try, especially for a special event of the end of year like this, of the end of a calendar, because it's not the end of year for everyone. I understand that. I'm doing very good yourself. And remember, between your chat and my response, it might be 20 seconds, especially on YouTube. So, so the, the anti-fragile concept of this live stream is to actually um, propose the intent for the year to come, for the cycle to come, like any good Scrum Master. And by the way, Faisal, are you... Uh, How did you find my channel? Are you yourself someone who are into business agility? Are you an entrepreneur? Are you a scrum master, a product owner? What, what do you do? Who are you? Tell me in the chat if you'd like. We'll be uh, pleased to get to know you a little bit more. Part of this maybe larger community that come to the Agile Lounge on YouTube or to the Dare Real Agile on Rumble and X and the audio podcasts that are available For now, 5,000 listeners a month. It's amazing. It's kind of incredible. And I'm doing it for free. I'm doing it just a side of my businesses. Uh, I'm not doing it for anything. Excellent. You study what? Tell us what you study. And um, so, so this is the thing. Onward. Onward is like if, if you are part of a team and a boat, everybody will... Go onward because you want to put the boat into a warning state. Like a value stream, a real value stream, a stream of water should be the reflection into what you do in business. So, um, and once again, the primary, the primary motivation, the primary aspect or goal or objective of a business, it's customer. Create your customer and keep them, evolve with them, listen to them. Okay, so that's the key. The real business agility, the real agile leadership, above and beyond agile software development, it's about it. When they created it, or sort of, when they put it in place in 2001, almost 24 years ago, they were thinking of that. That the programmer, the product owner, the business analyst will be closer to the user, to the user experience, to the customer, and understand that what they code, what they do as a real outcome, not just output or activities that you do in a fracking Jira, and so on. And what I was saying in French, and I will repeat it for face and now I see the counter is coming up again, so we cannot speak French. You're a bunch of racists. You're a bunch of French bashing. I'm just kidding, but maybe not. All right, so... So thank you for that. You said you see every video of your of your ID, or I did. did I, I'm not sure, but anyways. Um, so the, 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 what I was saying, like for the, the French community of the Montreal area here in Canada, <laughs> it's, it's like they 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 think they are so smart. Whether they are engineer, uh, kind of business owner, so. So they, they always like talk, talk and post things on social media um, and everything and everything. And, but they don't achieve anything. They don't pay attention to their customer. They don't 
really adjust themselves or tailor themselves. They talked a lot of theory. They talked a lot of, of the methodology of Agile, which is not. Agile, it's an adjective. And Agile is a way to move onward and forward and faster and smarter. Okay? So if you just use the word as it is in English and French and even in Spanish as an adjective, a qualificative adjective, you should aim to develop greatness in what you do and who you become as a business person, as an entrepreneur, or as any kind of um, specification that you do. So thank you for following us, Faisal, and um, watching our videos. I hope you learned something, and I hope also to learn something from people. Now, right now, it seems that only those who catch on Spotify and Apple Podcasts and all other platform on the audio podcaster, that's the only one who actually retrofit to us. They are sending us email with bitcoins or not bitcoins, and, and they talked about things, but uh, on YouTube and LinkedIn, I rarely have uh, feedback. I rarely have uh, any comments. So maybe because this is public, and with the podcast, the funny thing is they could send us a comment, which is private. Maybe that's the reason, because people don't want to. <laughs> I don't know. They don't want to interact. So I, I don't understand this uh, this thing. Because my main goal here is to help people, businesses, to have a better way of delivering their product to customer and satisfying a great customer experience. So this is what I do. This is what we do, the five coaches and I, at the Agile Launch for Business Agility. And 2024 is going to be a big year of change. If 2023 was collectively and individually for us and for me, uh, a kind of a moment of split, especially in the Agile community, huh, where you saw those who want just to make money with fear and, and selling bullshit and practicing bullshit uh, with Discipline Agile of the PMI, with the safe system that doesn't understand all centralized and imposed um, way of delivering thing and producing thing. And you have those like us with true business agility, with true conscious leadership, who wants to elevate people, who wants to give power to people and to uh, actually, um, you know, bring and, and raise, raise that kind of progress. And this is why I'm calling for 2024 of a renaissance of the uh, business way of doing thing, of the future at work, but more than the future at work. The freedom at work, having people, when you hire someone for their talent and their skills, let them work, let them tell you what to do. So that's the thing, not the other way around. And we should stop the imposition of any model, uh, even of Agile. It's not because I'm doing Agile for the last 20 some years that we should stop it. And, and by the way, Faisal, are you study, what do you study for? Why are you interested into this Agile Lounge channel on YouTube? And to answer your question while I'm waiting for your answer, uh, if I have more channel, actually, I've got this one uh, on YouTube. And uh, if you uh, search on Bing or uh, Google or what have you on Firefox, they're real agile. You're going to have the main thing, the main meat of what we do, especially on the audio podcast. We are everywhere. We are everywhere with a dare real agile. Okay, so it's like that. If you want a visual, it's dare real agile. And actually, in the ticker, you could see all the website that we are here offering our business opportunities, business consultancy. So you see jollyaf.com. It's the main thing where I offer more than just Agile, including telecommunication and CRM and stuff. The Dairy Real Agile is the podcast. Agile War, Scrum Beer. If you are from Montreal, we gather together um, and bar and we exchange about these things. It's kind of a networking. It's a user group for Scrum Master. But tell me what you do. Tell me uh, you study and what. And that could be a bridge into a network. So, anyways. And and before being a Scrum Master myself, or what they call an Agile coach, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a business enabler. I'm someone who help other business to rise up. Uh, not just in, in terms of the organization process and so on. So, the end 10. If 2023 was that split, where you saw it till the end with Agile Alliance proposing bullshit stuff, nil shit stuff, 
on <laughs> on a post of ID Mosher and backed by Jim I. Smith that I have utmost respect for this co signatory of the Agile Manifesto. But at the end of the day, I don't want to reimagine Agile for an extent time. I'm done with it. Let, let's do something better. Let's do something greater. And let's do something that will really put progress and responsible citizenship. Yes, everything that we learn in our work environment as Agile coach, as Agile consultant, I do believe that with an open leadership and with the Open Leadership Network, we should do something a lot more smart. You know, we talk about smart stuff and artificial intelligence and technological development and bioengineering and stuff like this, but what about the human agency? What about our creativity, our sense of innovation, our freedom to, to do something, to create something, to co-create something? So this is the intent for me. You will see the Agile Lounge moving into some new direction, some new horizon that f since never before. Even right now, the the contract that I signed up in the, in, in the end, at the end of this year was nothing to do with business agility because it's a farce. People understand that. So face out, you know, BBA and marketing, so a bachelor and marketing department. So here's the thing. So I don't know what they teach you. I don't know where you're from. Again, you told me maybe earlier and I missed it. So I don't know, but I know like uh, here in Montreal, you have Concordia and you have uh, McGill and they don't even like teach properly what is the real business world of today, especially in marketing. So in marketing, you know, what do you do marketing for? Do you do like the Madison way or you do the, the Cruder way? So Peter Cruder will tell you that before doing any marketing, it's to attract client. It's one thing or it's to sell some things. It's communication, right? But what about the organization? What about the delivering the promise? Because you guys in marketing, you promise a lot of things that even the business owner is not maybe sure that he will invest into it. So what is the communication organization between those departments? And yes, I did agile marketing also to bring this kind of agility, this business agility in term of stop working in silo. But finance, marketing, and customer experience should be a trio working together. Uh, so that's part of the evolution. That's part of the natural business free market way of adapting to change and to complexity and to the complexity of those clients. So what's happening with the music right now of my launch king? Okay, and it's just, just really low right now. Okay. So... So after the split, the great split that I had predicted in 2022, that had happened, that it's happening, now we need a black swan. But a black swan is not just a negative element. A black swan could be something very powerful, like the iPhone was a black swan, and the telephone, and the cell phone industry. Um, Bangladesh, all right, so are you in Bangladesh right now? So it's really what time now? It's plus 10, I think. It's 9 p.m. here in Montreal, Canada, and I'm guessing it's plus 10 in Bangladesh, or it's because I know my friend in Philippines that was supposed to be here, by the way, it's plus 13 or plus 12, so if we come back east a little bit, anyway, so uh, welcome, my friend, welcome, and uh, so yeah, so the intent is this, moving onward in the future, with no barrier, by the way. So this is what I like with my work. The way I do my work as a digital nomad. I, um, oops, what's happening? I don't see all the chat for some reason. But anyways, so, so this is really what's happening. It's the real openness. It's not just talking about being openness. It's about being there for each other and working together. And for me, when I see all these uh, Western countries <laughs> bragging about, uh, there's two things. They talk about DIE, diversity, inclusion, and uh, equity, I think, in English. And they talk about ESG, environmental practice, uh, governance, and uh, social responsibility. Well, this is not a thing for the corporation to do. Actually, the corporation could participate in that, but I find it more and more intrusive, this thing, because <clears throat> why do we need to tell people 
to accept each other. That should be a moral compass, no matter your cultural, your religious background. 8.14 a.m., Saturday, right? Okay, that's awesome. So, it's, uh, you know, the real aspect of inclusion is to see ourselves as, as, you know, when, th when people talked about all of these subjects, 2023 was also a, a, a moment of split. And, and it, it's sad that we see a split between people, between uh, people who have beliefs, Uh, and they split each other and they go to war and stuff like this. This is kind of sad because for me, a civilization should be um, a lot more mature than that, a lot more responsible than that, a lot more like into a higher level of moral compass and compassion and everything else. So I do believe that until we don't change the way that we interact with each other, with one another, We won't be able to actually really develop the real sustainability of our living and togetherness. It's so easy if we want to. The war is over if we want to. The uh, It's just a question of will, of acceptance. Could you tell me why is any individual in the streets of London, Paris, New York, maybe Jakarta and Indonesia also, and anywhere in the world, in Mexico City, they could get along together with no problem. With no problem. But in masses, when someone, whether it's a, it's an imam, whether it's, it's a rabbi, whether it's, it's a pope or whatever, or a, a, even a political leader, try to ostracize another, all of a sudden, it seems that Everybody is seeing a division between us. There is no division between us. We are all human beings that want to have an existence, an experience on this planet. And all the rest, all the rest is a superficiality, but that needs to be respected. Because if one likes something, it should have the right to experience his existence with this likeness. All right? So you will say like, hey, hold on a second. You are supposed to talk about agile leadership, conscious leadership, business agility, and now you are into a kind of a sociological and politics. No, I'm not. The intention, I talked to you last year about the great split. It happened. Now my pronostic and my intent, the way I'm going to contribute to this, the way I'm going to do every day a miracle with the help of greater forces than me. Okay. The intent, my intention to unleash it this year will be to do what I love, to do what both my reason and my art give me the ability to accomplish, and not alone with other and a team. Okay, that's the real sense of a teamwork. So that's why I can't wait to see if we're going to be able to create this Renaissance movement with the Open Leadership Network, with my help, and maybe step by step, empirically, we're going to reach to be an alternative to the mainstream narrative of the World Economic Forum with the ARC, the Alliance for Responsible Citizenship. So this is one of my big, big, big objective, and we're going to see the key result to make those outcomes happening. So I do believe that I choose my camp. I'm doing less and less of this shenanigan of Agile that I don't like, that I don't respect anymore, that I don't even care about those co like Jim I. Smith and others that want to reimagine it. It's too late. It's been like the last 10 years you try to go beyond Agile. Beyond meat, it's not meat. So if you like meat, don't, don't, don't eat beyond meat. Just eat vegetable, be a vegetarian, for God's sake. I don't know. It's, it's the same thing is you don't like beer because you don't, you don't drink alcohol. I respect that. But why are you drinking uh, beer uh, with zero uh, percent of alcohol? Just don't do this. It's like those that, br that drink soft drink, which is very not healthy. And they drink soft drink, diet soft drink. What the fuck? I mean, so it's the same thing. 
stop doing agile if you have to be beyond, if you have to be real agile. Agile is just an adjective, guys. Stop it with your fucking methodology, your fucking mindset, your fucking organization, whatever. Yes, I'm using the F word because enough is enough. And yes, I'm losing people every time I'm using the F word. I don't care because if you are offended by the truth, it's because you're not ready for it because the light, you prefer to stay in darkness. And here's the thing. <coughs> the French people in Montreal especially that say they are doing Agile, they are not doing Agile. And with your permission, Faisal, I really need to say this in French for them to really understand what I get to say. So any Anglophone that's watching right now, I'm on the 20 people, including Faisal, that uh, is uh, kind enough to have an interaction with me. And digital marketing, that's a lot better, by the way, but <laughs> don't try to sell me shit because I don't need any shit. I got a team of fabulous people here and again, doing this digital marketing, I'm not doing digital marketing right now. It could be a, a beside a set of what I'm doing, but what I'm doing is expressing a need of being divergent in the world of consent, in the world of conformity, and in the world of whatever. So I just want a voice for that. And I won't invest any fracking money or even Bitcoin into doing any kind of fucking digital marketing or social media marketing not even i'm using those as a tool and i'm just glad that without anything just organically with a team of nice people that are in the background there okay just doing it organically in two years we have this almost 900 people here five thousand who are grabbing our audio podcast with no fucking marketing campaign. Just being there, just posting ourselves and my team of six, seven people. That's it. I mean, I don't go into anything because my marketing, it's my satisfied client that proposed me a breakfast or a lunch or a dinner with someone else. And this is how I built my funnel. This, this channel is just for expression, for creativity and to, to exactly here, I'm going to show you to do this. Awake and agilize with AF. It's me, Alexandre Frédéric Jolie. So, if you are listening to this transmission, you may be part of the Renaissance. Not the fracking resistance, not the fracking anything. Don't resist. Just reborn again and again. Okay? That's all you have to do, guys. It's so very simple. Okay, so... En français maintenant, parce que je veux vraiment que uh, ces singes-là comprennent. Donc, with, with all your respect for all of the uh, anglophones out there, I'm going to switch a little bit in French. Parce que ce message s'adresse à la communauté agile, particulièrement de Montréal, Agile Montréal. Attends, I get a sip, I get a sip for this. Hmm. Santé, cheers. Donc, ah, les petits agiles montréalais. Ça, c'est comme Gilles. Gilles, Gilles, Gilles. Gilles, t'es tout seul, Gilles. Gilles, t'es tout seul. T'as juste un coach agile. Vous faites tout le temps la même chose. Vous répétez tout le temps la même chose. Mais pas dans un sens pédagogique. Puis, il y a une chose qui m'a halluciné. Après deux, trois ans de travailler à l'international comme digital nomade, puis d'avoir fait euh, plusieurs euh, contrats, même à distance, à cause de, de la pandémie. J'ai dit, OK, on, on va réessayer. On va essayer de se réancrer à Montréal, puis au Québec. Et à ma grande surprise, j'ai eu beaucoup, beaucoup d'entretiens. J'ai eu beaucoup de pre-sales, calls and stuff. But it's a waste of time. It's a fucking waste of time with those Frenchie of Montreal. Montreal, it's a fucking stupid market of non-decider. Vous décidez rien. Vous prenez pas de décision. Vous faites niaiser le monde. 80 heures avec une compagnie de cigarettes de merde. 80 heures, deux showcase. À rien en agile marketing. Je vais te s'en nommer un autre groupe dynamite. What the fuck is that? Even in English, because Group Dynamite, it's a, it's a clothing company that operates here in Montreal. Puis, vous êtes même pas capable, mais faites passer huit 
Huit euh, rencontres. J'ai rencontré votre CEO, là, un frachier, là. Hein, le Lofty. Comment il s'appelle? Lofty, Andrew Lofty. Ouais, ouais, je me lâche ce soir. Je me lâche parce que je m'en calisse. Mettez-moi sur vos listes noires. Continuez à mettre sur vos crises de listes noires. Vous pouvez manger de la merde. Va fangulo. Va fangulo, ma starbesté, chnière. OK? J'en ai marre de vous à Montréal. Petit peuple de faiseux. English ou français, vous êtes la même marde de non-décideurs, de faux entrepreneurs, de petits culs, de petites prêtresses, de petites princesses, de merdeux qui font perdre du temps au monde, qui font perdre du temps aux recruteurs aussi. Vous demandez des affaires, vous les faites jamais. La caisse de dépôt de placement. Mais quelle farce! Quelle farce! Mon ancien patron, Jacques Parizeau, il vous botterait le cul pour votre inaction. Puis je parlerai même pas des hosties de voleurs, hein? Les hosties de voleurs! Les astuces de voleurs de showcase qui volent à PMC et à Agile Lounge des, des, des concepts architecturaux pour après ça les vendre, hein? CGI, là, mes astuces, là, vous puez, tabarnak. Vous pusez, CGI. Vous êtes toute une astuce de gang. Ah, puis Beneva. On va-tu en parler de Beneva? Ils me font perdre mon temps. Ils me passent en entrevue, puis après ça, ils sont même pas capables de prendre des décisions. C'est tout le temps la même chose. Ou on me donne pas les vraies raisons. C'est peut-être ça. La même chose pour deux autres de mes coachs. On faisait de la prospection. Yes, I know face out, but this have to be said in French for the French business people here in Montreal. Even if they maybe speak English, I don't care. I need them to understand that in their language. Do you understand? Are you with me with that? Thank you very much. So all the five, seven people that are watching right now, if you speak English, I have to do this segment in French. So that's it. Okay, that's it. That's uh, anti-fragile, anti-New Year. Let's move on. And happy morning for any one of you who are watching this from the East. And I was waiting for my friend in the Philippines. Are you there? I don't know. So tell me in the chat. So anyways, là, là, quand on se dit des vraies affaires, là, j'ai passé tout l'été et tout l'automne à perdre mon temps, à investir du temps avec des compagnies comme Intact, Beneva, des compagnies d'assurance qui se disent agiles, puis qui sont même pas... Écoute, je suis allé à une espèce de, de café, euh, un petit café rencontre, là, euh, ils voulaient parler du, euh, de leur euh, testing left. Là, j'écoutais ça, c'était super fun, c'était super fun, mais je faisais ça, <rire> je faisais ça dans mes premières jobs de Scrum Master en 99-2000. Euh, je fait que, pis, ils me disent qu'ils me prennent pas parce que j'ai pas assez d'expérience. Gang de clowns! Hé, hey, la recruteur, là, je donnerai pas ton nom, là, mais la recruteur chez Intact, là, <rire> attache tes bottines, t'es une, t'es une pauvre papa, t'es pas possible, là. T'es, t'es comme, je sais pas si c'est lire un CV, je sais pas si c'est lire. Tu sais, moi, t'es VP, là, j'étais conseillé par euh, un, un gars de l'architecture en passant, hein, chez vous, j'étais référé en plus, là. Tu comme, tu sais, minute, là, que j'ai livré pour lui, puis il était bien content. Puis toi, tu me bloques? Mais tu te prends pour qui? Vous êtes n'importe quoi à Montréal. C'est n'importe quoi. C'est une petite clique. Une petite clique de véreux. Hein? Une petite clique d'amis. Hein? Autour de Agile Partnership. Là. Lui, je vais le nommer. Là, Eric Laramé. Là. Petit crise de fraîchis. Là. Petit crise de, 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 de fendant. Hein? Qui, qui, qui envoie ses trolls. Là. Me troller en privé. Là. Puis faire du, du, du narcissique euh, pervers. Hein? Puis c'est, ça, c'est, ça, c'est comme Zhang Jinping. Là, qui contrôle là, Agile Montréal. Là, par en arrière. Là. Puis c'est même pas capable de rien faire de concret. Hein? C'est comme les check in que j'ai faites. À chaque fois que ma gang, à moi, là, mon réseau ici, là, de, de Agile Langer, là, de Scrum Beer, on fait quelque chose, là. il y a tout le temps un clown d'Agile Montréal qui essaie de, de copier l'idée et de faire ça, puis ils sont pas capables de le faire. Pourquoi? Parce que nous sommes les OG. Nous sommes le Real McCoy. Okay? Fait que l'aramée puis ta petite crise de française à marde, là, c'est, c'est quelque chose, là. qu'elle aille donc chier. Okay? Puis non, je ne me cache plus. Je me cache plus parce que une des intentions de 2024, avec les associations qu'on veut faire, puis le mouvement du vrai leadership, puis de la vraie agilité, mais au-delà de l'agile, parce que l'agile, c'est fini. C'est fini, guys. Le split est arrivé 2022-2023. Fait que là, continuez à jouer avec vos petites bebelles de DA, puis de PMI à marde, puis votre petit safe là, qui, qui amène à rien d'autre que du confort, puis de l'indifférence, puis du conformisme. Là. Continuez, là. Continuez à petite gang de loser du Québec puis du Canada, by the way, parce que it's in English as well. Oh, yes. I, I've seen things in the rest of Canada. It's not clever enough. And also in the United States. In the United States, there are a lot of losers, too. There's actually the Western world is a full of losers. People, 
like students, students like Faisal, or all my friends in Mexico, all my friends in Brazil, in India, and in Filipino. They are the future. The future is Southeast, guys. The South countries and the East. Fuck off, West. The West is done, and I don't care. Am I demoralized? No, because I'm a cosmopolitan, and I'm working with people from all around the world. Me. I'm not like those French Canadian or those English Canadian that just work in the little Toronto and Montreal. Piece of shit. Poor guy. And you think you are a winner with your all of your artificial intelligence and this and that. You're just a bunch of loser who just talk shit and not walk. You're not walking. You cannot even run. You want to do scrum? But you don't understand that scrum is the crossfit of agility. Is the crossfit is 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 like running for real, running to win. But you don't. And you use the scrum master as you will use <laughs> a fucking like I don't know. You treat you treat the scrum master like it's not. It's just someone who will like kind of speed up the process of your classical project management. This is what you do in Montreal, motherfucker. And if nobody is telling you that publicly, and now I'm on LinkedIn, and I don't even hide it anymore, enough is enough. The split happened. Now let's move on. Let's move onward for real business agility, for elevate consciousness. And instead of denouncing stuff from now on, I'm going to propose real value, and I won't do it alone. And we're going to have another podcast for that next to the Dairy Real Agile. And yes, in French, I'm going to continue my conversation with Alexandre. Plus feutré. But I will continue until we could achieve something greater. Together, you are invited. Yes, I rent against the loser because I don't want to have any loser in my network. I just have the intention of surrounding myself with people who want to learn like I do, people who ask questions before judging. So this is who I am, and I am who I am. Si t'es pas content, mange de la crise de merde, petit entrepreneur du Québec. Southeast Asian, the best. With Brazil people, you should get together, because this is the future. The future, I'm telling you, I had the lab in Colombia, South America, great developer, great people, they get it, they get it, this is the, I tell you, south and east, the, all the country in the south of the equator, and on the east is the future, the west is done, because there are two, how could I say that, help me with, uh, the, the, those westerners, like, they think they, they know better, you know what I mean, but they don't know shit, they don't know fucking shit. I've learned more in the last 10 years with my friend in Mexico and the Philippines and Vietnam. Okay? And Emirates Arab Unite and everything. So don't don't talk to me like yes, I love France, Germany, England, Scotland, especially Scotland. Like I'm not talking about all the people. I don't want to do a counter-racist thing. It's not, it's not a race. We have only one race. It's the human. We are all fucking human. The rest is all the fucking bullshit of like it's gang, okay? The gang of Canada, the gang of Bangladesh, the gang of India, the gang of Sri Lanka, the gang of Madagascar, the gang of Zimbabwe. Stop it. Stop it. I, 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 whatever. I'm not like a kind of a globalist. I think we should cherish our culture, our difference, but that's it. Together and difference. Not uh, forcing uh, inclusion or forcing a, a kind of a new world order dictatorship led by the United States, the fading United States. Vafangulo, kebeste. Anyways, I think I'm done for the night. It's a 21:33 here in Montreal. It's 9:33, so I'm assuming that you say it's uh, the morning for you guys. And I didn't see any of my friends from Philippines. So anyway, I'm calling it. I did what I did. I wanted to do. So the split happened in 2023. Onward 2024 now. It's a message of renaissance. It's a hope that I'm going to be able to do things with people who really want to do things. 
for the human civilization. Not the Western or the Eastern civilization. No. The human civilization. Responsible citizenship of a better world, of a smarter world. And the next episode, probably around the first episode of 2024, will be to clear up any kind of volatility, uncertainty, and complexity around the question of between AI and HI, AI for artificial intelligence, beside HI, human intelligence, and how this should unfold in the next four or five years, beside automation, and how marketing that will interest Faisal should be actually open the hair from the customer who experienced their product instead of just pushing something it's time for every one of us to pull and to listen so on that amazing and beautiful people remember who you really are you are wonderful you are powerful and you are free to be whoever you want it to be and to do whatever you want it to do and respect of one another and on that I wish you a happy end of year and see you on the other cycle of 2024 next Friday, the 5th of January. Cheers.